investors analyse the investment portfolios of some of the largest insurers in Europe to see how asset allocations have changed over a six-year period. I'm Yvette Aston for AMVEST TV and I'm joined by Tom Bateman, Financial Analyst for AMVEST. Tom, can you explain to me some of the trends we've seen in our recent report looking at asset allocations of European insurers? Uh, yeah, we've taken a sample of the largest 500 northern and western European insurance companies um, and combined they have an asset base of around 8 trillion euros and we've witnessed a shift of approximately 2 to 3 percent of that moving from fixed income investments to quoted equity. Uh, we've also seen an increase in alternative or other investment classes um, and investment managers look for yield um, on that invested asset base. Um, Insurance linked security is one such asset class that's benefited from both that increasing percentage allocation but also has attracted additional capital to the industry. What is the reason why there has been a shift in asset allocation? Uh, well, it's been twofold really of it. We've been on one of the longest bull runs in history, and the FTSE 100 has recorded record highs during this sort of extended period of low interest rates. Corporate earnings have also benefited from cheap financing rates uh, and relatively low level of inflation throughout this period. Um, so firstly, we've got those rising asset valuations that contributed to higher allocation to equity. One off slight offsetting factor is higher bond prices. They've also been on a strong upward trend um, during this period. Um, however, the other point that we really have seen is a small shift um, between those asset classes as Insurers and pension funds alike search for ways to improve their performance uh, and manta maintain funding levels. Pension funds or insurance companies, particularly with longer tail liabilities, have really struggled um, as a result of the low discount factors that they've been using at present. You've detailed a few of the reasons there why there's been a shift, but wasn't there an expectation that sovereignty too might lead to a more conservative asset allocation strategy? That is one potential theory. I mean, when Solvency 2 was introduced, um, that was designed to increase a more efficient allocation uh, to encourage both stronger performance and solvency. Uh, and one theory is that that would encourage insurers towards a more conservative asset base, um, attracting lower risk charges to, re to in turn report a higher level of solvency. But that doesn't seem to fit with what we've seen in the sample that we've analysed. I think the primary offsetting factor to that is that companies, particularly in our sample, but also in the European Union as a whole, um, are pretty well capitalised. Um, for our, our analysis, the average Solvency 2 score for um, insurers operating under standard formula is comfortably in excess of 200%. Hence, given the high level of solvency ratios we've seen, that's unlikely to be the primary driving force between asset allocations. Um, and instead, insurers who look towards their asset liability management techniques um, and also looking to acquire higher levels of return with excess levels of capital. One of the concerns for companies in Europe, obviously, is the impact of rising interest rates and higher inflation. Can you tell me what AMVES expects will be the impact on the companies that we've been looking at? Yeah, inflationary pressure is always a concern for corporate earnings as a whole but also insurance companies as a subset of that. The inflationary pressures we potentially saw at the start of February and that could lead to a faster than anticipated rise in interest rates is a cause of concern for investors and hence why we saw that volatility at the beginning of February. Inflation for insurers essentially means a higher cost of claims um, and those operating in competitive industries won't necessarily be able to pass those on to their consumers. Also. Um, insurers' earnings have benefited from a favourable prior year reserve development in the past um, as a result of inflation, or partially as a result of inflation levels that have been below initial pricing expectations. In our best opinion, those companies with a good level of asset diversification and strong risk management strategies will be those that will be able to produce consistent results as the economic cycle changes through the various phases and hence those companies will be able to mitigate potential areas of volatility the best. A copy of A Invest report looking at investments of European companies can be found on our website, aimvest.com. For A Invest TV, 
I'm Yvette Essen.